Well, here it is guys, it's uh, unmasked. Um, my last video, I painted this Fender with just Duplicolor Clover Green Metallic and a can of Spraymax 2K Clear, and it came out really, really good in my opinion. color is pretty close it's a little off but I mean it's I think it's close enough to to be okay I mean you be the judge this is duplicate color that's the paint before um, here let me get up close to the hood it's pretty damn close I feel like the duplicate color has more metallic or maybe it's just because it has fresh clear it just gives it that that look I'm not sure but anyway anyways I mean if for how easy and cheap it was it's definitely it's incredible with how how well it came out but today what i'm going to be doing is um i'm going to be seeing if i could buff it by hand um i was talking about them in my last video like i've always been curious if you could cut it i'm going to set it with like 2000 grit i'm going to try and actually buff it with like a, a cotton pad and see if i can get good results because it does have some orange peel that'd be um let's see if i can capture that like right here there's like some crap in the paint too a little bit like right here you can see the orange peel nothing crazy but it's definitely something just the sanding and buffing should take care of so what I've done is I taped off this little section here and I'm gonna wet sand this and uh, buff it by hand with some uh, what do I have here Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. They had the Ultimate Compound and like a polish and I figured the compound would be better for a uh, taking out the sand scratches the polishing is probably you know like the final thing like after you compound it hit it with the polish so i'm just going to be working with the polish and some of these um just terry cloth uh buffing pads and see what kind of results we can get So as it's, uh, I'm gonna let it dry up because as it dries, you can like see your progress. Um, you can see like the low and high spots. Um, basically, like where you hit it, it's gonna be nice and dull, and the orange peel is gonna be a little shiny, shiny pits like of an orange. That's literally why it's called orange peel. So I'm gonna let this this water evaporate real fast, and we'll see the progress I've made. So it's actually coming out really nice. Uh, down here in the bottom, that's just water. But here, where it's nice and dry, you can see where it's shiny. Those, that's like the imperfection of the orange peel. Like here, there was like the spray can kind of spit. Um, so I'm gonna go over this little section right here just to get like a real definitive line, like a before and after I polish it, or a buff it actually. Like all this can be nice and buffed, and hopefully the, the flatter and smoother it is, that means it's gonna turn out even better, like more slick. Okay, so it's looking pretty damn good. It's not perfect. You can still see like a couple little specks, but I mean, 
basically all this should be nice and slick hopefully after I polish it out um, so this can be like the the, the hard line to be definitive before and after it should be nice and slick and like a mirror and then here we should see some orange peel and um, yeah I'm just gonna do this 100% by hand I'm just gonna basically put the compound and swirl it and see if I can take out these 2000 grit sand scratches I mean it's it's really scuffed up you can tell nice and scuffed it's dull and flat you know here it's all glossy so it's gonna be pretty interesting I've never actually done this before Okay guys, this is actually pretty amazing. Like I'm amazed myself. So this is before the buff. You see the orange pill? I mean, it's coming out of a spray can. It's kind of expected, but I'm gonna back up. Orange pill, orange pill, and then all of a sudden, right there in the middle of the screen, it turns to glass. Look at the pole, go from distorted to like damn near perfect. So in this little square, this is what I buffed. It looks like glass. 100% by hand. All I did was hit it like twice with the uh, cotton pad. It seriously looks like a like a, a, it was painted in a, in a paint booth, like professionally buffed. It looks amazing. I mean, there's a couple little like there's two little specks. I can't can't even pick it up on camera, but. Uh, basically long story short yes yeah, so you can buff it by hand with amazing results um, I guess I'm not gonna buff the entire car by hand obviously but it could come in handy like in tight spots in weird corners and places maybe you can't stick a machine buffer in or if maybe you're just doing like a, a scratch repair just need to buff a small little section um, you can definitely just buff it by hand and if you follow this if I follow this up with some polish it'd be even better so I'm actually thinking about trying a, a scratch repair different techniques and experimenting with that if I could like <laughs> I don't know I was actually thinking about scratching this fender just for the channel and uh, show if I can repair it how legitimately I could repair like a, a key scratch because um, I don't really plan on keeping it this color I might do like an overall paint job but um yeah I'm not quite sure let me know in the comments what you want to see I want to do more paint uh, paint video content um, if you like it don't forget to like and subscribe see you next video thanks for watching hey, Daddy. Two of the uh, fuck, what's the title? Hold on.